Now you should find that the derivatives of arc sine x, arc cosine x, and arc tan x are given to you in the formula booklet. Okay, so you don't need to memorize those results, but you should definitely know how to get to them. Okay, the process that I went through in the previous videos. So if, for example, I'm faced with uh, differentiating y equals arc sine of 5x, then there are two trains of thought. Either I can use the long-winded way that I've used in the uh, previous video, which I'll show first, or I could use the chain rule. So the first way uh, using the previous method would be to say, OK, well, if y is equal to arc sine of 5x, then that means that 5x is equal to sine of y. So x is equal to 1 fifth sine of y. You then differentiate, so dx by dy is going to be 1 fifth cosine of y. So that means that dy by dx is equal to 1 over this, which is going to be 5 over cosine of y. So 1 over the 1 fifth and 1 over the cosine y. Now this we can write as 5 over the square root of 1 minus sine squared y, which is equal to 5 over the square root of 1 take away. Now the sine y, remember, is 5x, so 5x all squared, so 25x squared. And so this is dy by dx. This is the end result that I wanted. So that is using the previous method that I've shown. Okay. The alternative would be to use the chain rule. So the chain rule would say that uh, y equals arc sine of 5x. Well, the derivative of the inside comes outside. So we know that for dy by dx, the 5 is going to come out the front. Okay. Arc sine differentiates to 1 over the square root of 1 minus x squared. So 1 over the square root of 1 take away x squared. The interior function is 5x. So that stays the same. And that gets put in there. And so we get 5 over the square root of 1 minus 25x squared. OK? So this is utilising the extended method um, that I've shown in the previous videos of how you would use that. This, on the other hand, uses reversing the chain rule, uh, allowing use of those results that are in the formula booklet.